In the last video, we learned about how to make our character controller get communicated with our scripts. So with this, we can communicate our character script with our character controller. And by doing that, we programmed in the last video how to make our character control jump. On this video, we're going to learn how to make our character controller work with our input system. So with this, we're going to be able to make it move with our keyboard. So let's get started. First of all, let's go and see our input manager by going to edit, project settings, and input. Let's open our input manager and we just need the horizontal and vertical axis. So we're just going to leave the size of the array to two. Second of all, let's open our character script and let's paste our code. So we start by creating a speed bar which is going to determine how fast we move when we press the horizontal and vertical axis. And after that, what we need to do is to finally modify the move direction depending on which keys we press. So to do that, what we're going to do is to capture the movement of our axis when the controller is grounded. So let's do that. So what we do here is that we set the move direction depending on the axis we capture from our input manager, in this case the horizontal and vertical, which are binded by default to the ASDW keys. A and D for left and right, and W and S for forward or backwards. Now on the next line, we set again the move direction to be relative to our camera. So with this, if our camera is rotated, it will not matter if we hit left or right depending on where the camera is. And finally, we multiply our move direction by the speed. Then we capture the space key being pressed in order to make the character controller jump. We calculate afterwards the gravity and then we move our character with the gravity and the move direction. So let's check it out. Let's save here and let's go back to Unity. Let's hit play and see how if I press the A, S, and S, and D buttons, the capsule move. Now, if I wanted to change the camera position and rotation, you will think that the position of the ASD changes, but it doesn't because of this line of the transform direction. So if I rotated the camera and move my character, it will move the same with the ASD and W functions. So remember that if you want to use the movement of your character controller relative to something, you use the transform direction function.